Okay, this how-to video is going to go through how to use the markup command that's available inside of the Cadence Mystery Tools. It's available in all levels of the tools, um, and it allows you to kind of store um, comments and uh, images inside of the, the, the PCB editor tool itself inside the board file, um, especially when you're doing things like peer reviews. Maybe the board design has designed the board and finished it, and you want to send it over to different people to look at the board and make comments. Um, they can now store those comments directly inside the board file, um, and then they can be recorded and they can be um, resolved, um, and you get a good workflow when you're doing the working. So rather than kind of you know taking screenshots and putting it into a Word doc or an Excel spreadsheet or whatever to make all the comments, you can actually store that side directly inside the board file. So if we look under the tools and markup command. Um, and then there's a, a comments pane that's now available inside of the, it's a docked window. Obviously, you can take that and put it wherever you like inside the screen. Um, it docks like the other windows do. Um, and then you can literally just go and add a new comment. It, it uses eventually the, the hashtag name of whoever the user is that's logged in. So that's me at the moment. And then you can add comments um, and you can draw rectangles and you can set the fonts and the sizes, whatever you want. Um, for your comment that you want to do. So to add a new comment, we literally, I'm just going to draw a rectangle here. Um, we'll just draw a rectangle maybe around this uh, this flexi and say, uh, let's just do increase the flexi radius. And we will submit that. And then I'm going to zoom in down here and we'll add another comment. And we'll draw a rectangle around here and say, um, let's go to the right place and say, check in whole size. Uh, we'll submit that. So that, that's effectively then stores it directly inside of the design. You can see I've got comment one and comment two. Um, when we finish that, if you want to kind of look at these, we can obviously, um, there's these little preview windows that will open up uh, for the captions for one and two. So this will then take it to the different captions and have a look. So we can zoom in and, and see those and see the, the snapshots with the comments. Um, once the designer gets these back, he can obviously uh, look at the boards and say, okay, I need to go and modify these. So he might need to edit this and say, you know, maybe the tooling size is fine. So he could say, let's edit this and say, it's fine, you know, uh, checked it and, and submit that back. So that gets stored in here. Or we can just say, you know, I've, I've, I've modified it. And then once he's done it, he can effectively then just go and resolve this. And that would then effectively take the comment away um, and uh, store it. So it's a resolved, so it actually lists it as a resolved um, comment. So that then goes through the markup command, um, which can be really helpful in the design.